All right, welcome back to One Bar and Lopagas Show. I'm One Bar with Lopagas. We're a week in the free agency. I think we can all agree the beefy, beefy moves have been made. So we're going we're gonna to grade all of Vikings free agency so far. Yeah, the sexy moves have been made. Uh, the big names have been signed. A few are lingering out there, but for the most that part, the Vikings, uh, it's almost complete. But yeah, before you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like, comment as well, become a YouTube member. Uh, we are giving away the signed John Randall helmet later today, I believe. Yes, we are. We'll be giving away tonight when we do our Viking seven round mock draft. Uh, so we're not going to sit and grade every signing. I think we've pretty much done that already. We're going to grade it as a whole. Comments, let us know your grade. Just for uh, reference, I put a poll out there and it's like 50% give it a B hmm. and it's about 37% give it an A. And then there's some, obviously, the, some other sprinklage in there, but the pretty good grade. Sprinklage. Sprinklage, uh, let's, I mean, we're not going to go through each one of these, right? Let's, we, no. we can, we can quickly address it, but um, go ahead. Well, let's just start with the old line. I mean, you, uh, you bring back David Questenberry, which I think was huge. Uh, right now, though, it looks like Blake Brandles, your starting left guard, and then you bring in Dan Feeney to replace at Austin Schlotman. So the, the old line, I mean, really, I don't know if it got better. No, there's no way you can say it got better. Uh, Reisner was was nice. He came in and, and played better than Ezra Cleveland. Reisner wasn't like mm -hmm. dominant by any means. Um, Blake Brandle, I don't think there's going to be a huge drop off, and he could shock the world and just play at the same level. We'll see. Um, I'm not concerned about it. I just wish we would have added somebody to compete with him. But uh, uh, I, I mean, let's go to the just obvious the defense. I mean, the guys they added on defense is insane. They didn't waste their time. Brian, Brian Flores clear, clearly has a big say in this defense. I can't wait to see what these three boys can bring to the squad. Yeah, and that's the huge thing. Like, you knocked out a huge need at edge. That was going to be a primary need at 11. You, you fix it, Jonathan Grenard, Andrew Van Ginkle, and then you bring in the cash man to play linebacker, uh, taking over um, – Jordan Hicks's role. So, yeah, that's a huge upgrade there. The D-lines where you can maybe get a little bit nitpicky, like look at who you brought in. Jerry Tillery re-signed re Jonathan Bullard. Jerry, Jerry. It's not overly exciting. Again, did the D-line get better? I, I don't think it did yet. I mean, there's still a draft to go, but the D-line definitely didn't get better. Well, and and the, to say a horrible defensive line didn't get better is is the big old concern. Uh, they must have something up their sleeve. I cannot see them rolling with this. But Tillery, as of now, is a starter and one thing we gotta it's kind of being overlooked is the fact that as part of this free agency we also got to look at the guys they moved on from i mean they mm -hmm. released alexander matt i mean they've made some big boy moves released madison um obviously daniel hunter is gone so they decided to just kind of spread their money out to uh to very good players as opposed to that superstar kirk cousins are moving on from so they're making a big move to go get that rookie quarterback so that all factors in to this yeah, and then, you know, you got obviously the Aaron Jones one was a great move, oh, yeah, uh, Jones. move that's been universally loved by every Vikings fan, just the whole vindictive nature of it uh, as well. You can pull up the old death chart here, huh? When well, Sam I'm Darnold say, coming I mean, in. We didn't mention Sam Darnold, but. Well, yeah, I mean, we're not done, but, like, we have eight new starters if the season were to start tomorrow. That includes freaking John Parker Romo, our, our kicker, but eight new starters, uh, four of which are on defense. And then, obviously, Jones, Sherfield does that number three wide receiver, if that's where he ends up. Uh, and then Darnold. So let's let's talk old Sam the man. Yeah, again, I, I ever since he was brought in the $10 million, I never thought he'd be more than a placeholder. Uh, I still don't expect him to start a game, but maybe he will if the rookie is struggling a little bit to pick up the offense. I really do think uh, the rookie quarterback will start. But it's Sam Darnold, $10 million, You can bitch about that or not, but at least you have a veteran on the team who's played a lot of games in the league. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it depends on what quarterback we get. If we were to go up and get like a Drake May or somehow get a Jaden Dan, something like that, I want them starting day one. If it is a McCarthy, I want I want Darnold to go out there until he looks so damn bad that McCarthy can only come in and look beautiful and he gets some time. So, But like I said in our last video, if Sam Darnold never plays a snap for the Vikings for that $10 million, who cares? Who that cares? means our quarterback was good and ready. Absolutely. Uh, the Sherfield signing, I like him as a wide receiver for special teamer. He's a good blocker. I, I don't hate that signing at all. It seems like a Quasi move. But I do feel like this is Quasi now starting to put his fingerprints. Mm. Uh, this is a lot of his guys now on this roster from top to bottom. You know, look at the last couple of years, this year included now. This is starting to look like his team. Yeah. And we're going to be in line for some uh, nice comp picks next year. So that is a factor as well. And a ton of money 
to spend. So uh, they did not go out there and just completely blow their wad on like a Wilkins, which we all would have been excited about. But Hell yeah. I just I just love the not they wasn't safe, but just conservative kind of kind of way they went about things and got some damn good player building blocks. By the time these guys are still under contract, our rookie quarterbacks gonna be coming into his own. Yeah, no, it's exciting. It's, it's a great move. Uh, Quasi's spending his money wisely. So I think we talked enough. I mean, I think we can unveil our grades here. You want to go first since you look like you're chomping at the bit. Comments. Uh, we want to know your grades as well. So my grade is, again, taking into that consideration, moving on from Kirk. Loved Kirk, but we're moving on from him. We're going to get that rookie quarterback. This is going to be a whole different team. It had to happen, and, and the front office had some big old balls to make sure that did happen. So that's a huge part of this. And then the players they signed are fantastic. And Aaron Jones on top of it, the cherry mm-hmm. on top. Packers watch that guy run for 1,800 yards. Easy. This is an wow. A minus. I almost went straight up A. Uh, but what? Are Did you, you use a ruler to make that A? Those are very straight lines. You know what? That's weird. I didn't. <laughs> that is ridiculously straight. You know, I was trying to think if that was printed. That's what I was looking at. I'm like, no, God, it's not. <laughs> Wow, I give my uh, letter an A plus, but I give yeah. the Vikings for agency an A minus. And you can you can sit and nitpick on the positions we didn't hit, but you got to look at the positions we did hit and the guys we did move on from and and, and salaries that will not be there. So A minus, this is easy. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot to add to that because I have the same exact grade as you. An A minus. Oh, your A is way worse. It is way worse. I, didn't know we were, I still can't believe it. it's like a perfect. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um. You can't, you can't fix every need in free agency, and you don't ever want to fix every need in free agency. Yes, there's still some holes on this roster, but you know what? We have the draft to go. I know we don't, you know, probably not have a pick after the first round until round four, but we have a lot of day three picks. Hit on a couple of those. This isn't a one-year fix. Uh, I love it. I love the move so far by Kwesi. Great job. Great week for the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah. The, the, the Vikings roster has some holes. One bar and Lepagus have a couple holes. Yep. It's natural. It's natural. If you want to talk about your holes or the holes in the Minnesota Vikings roster, drop a comment. Don't forget to watch later to see if you won. If you're not a member yet, become a member. There's still time to get on that wheel and win the helmet. Uh, But, guys, until then, remember this. The Reuben sandwich was dreamt up at Omaha's Blackstone Hotel in 1925 by Reuben Kolofsky, a local grocer, to feed a group of late-night poker players. Hell of a sandwich.